Hello, and welcome to the official Cricket Carts YouTube. I'm Noah, and today we're going to be showing you how to collapse and expand your RX-5. First, begin by removing the thumb screws on either side of the footplate. Then, place them somewhere where you'll remember them. Ensure that your RX-5 is off before removing the footplate. Grab both sides carefully, press down the pedal to get it out of the way, and lift straight out. After you set the footplate aside, lift up on the center pin and turn it clockwise to unlock the extension bar. To collapse, place your foot on the front bar and push forward firmly. After collapsing the cart, be sure to re-engage the center pin. To remove the steering column, Begin by disconnecting the electronics by pushing down on these tabs and gently pulling it apart. Remove the cowling, unscrew the steering column, pull straight out, and set it aside. Loosen the thumb screws behind the seat back and lift it up and out. I've placed this seat backing in between the front and back of the vehicle for ease of transport. You may also do the same with the steering column. The foot plate can fit right on top of the seat. Loosen the final two thumb screws on the back of the cricket cart. Place both hands on sides of the rear footplate and pull out gently. After removing the rear footplate, simply turn it upside down and it fits right on the back of the cart. Your cricket cart is now collapsed for easy storage or transport. Here's how to unpack your collapsed RX-5. Line up the rear footplate, slide it into the two holes in the back, and tighten down the thumb screws. Next, set aside the footplate, steering column, and seat back to continue assembly. Take the seat back, line it up with the two holes behind the front cushion, and tighten down the two thumb screws in the back. You take the steering column, then line up the square hole with the matching peg in the console, slide it in, and screw it down. Replace the cowling, and reconnect the electronics under the console. Next, pull up on the pin and turn it clockwise to unlock the extension bar. Apply pressure to the front bar and pull the front end forwards. After ensuring that your RX-5 is off, slide the footplate into place, pushing it past the pedal. Once the footplate is in place, use the thumb screws to secure it to the cart. After tightening down the last thumb screw, your Cricut Cart RX-5 is ready to drive. To learn more or to find a Cricket Cart dealer near you, check us out at cricketcarts.com. Like and subscribe, and thanks for stopping by.